So I started packing the hospital bag, but there's, I just feel like I just keep adding to it and there's so much. So we want to try to actually get it packed today. So I'm going to try to lay out everything and show you guys what I'm packing, but I'm a first time mom. So there's a lot of things I'm either probably forgetting or I'm probably honestly overpacking because I don't know what I need. I don't know what I don't need. So I know I'm for sure actually probably overpacking. I don't know. I'd rather be more prepared than not prepared. So I will show you everything that I have packed in my hospital bag. So here's everything that I have laid out right now. This is just my stuff, not Trent's stuff. So we'll add his stuff. And I know that we have a few other things to add too. And I just did a poll on my Instagram stories and posted a TikTok to have people help me. Anything that they used that they really liked or needed or is a must have um, to let me know. I'm so out of breath. Oh my gosh, this is tilted and it's gonna bug me. Whatever, it's good enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through what I have packed in our hospital bag, um, some little things. Starting with this letter board, it just says welcome smushy on it right now because that's what we've had in our nursery. And we call her smushy right now because we don't have a name for her. So I'm bringing all the letters because we don't have a name picked out and it'll just be fun to write a little message if we wanted to have something written on there. Obviously toiletries I have packed, I have Lotion, dry shampoo, uh, toothbrushes, some face lotion, chapstick, a hairbrush, a makeup remover, um, towel that I use, deodorant, toothpaste, all the goods. So that's a must, obviously. Got some snacks packed for Trent. Um, I have just some nuts, some protein bars, some Arbon Fizz Sticks, in case Trent can't get coffee or anything, um, some peanut butter, some little um, energy caramels, just really basic stuff because I'm not sure what he's gonna be able to have. And then also if we have time to, I'll have him stop on the way or have him get something. Then next I am bringing my birth preferences. It's called, instead of a birth plan, it's just birth preferences. So we don't really do birth plans. So this is just kind of what I want during labor and after delivery, if at all possible. Um, I'm super open-minded and flexible about things, so however it goes, it's just how it goes. But um, that'll just be helpful to give to the nurses since they don't do birth plans where I'm giving birth. So yeah, birth preferences will be good. I have my Polaroid camera because I'm a photographer and I think that stuff's super cute. So obviously I'm gonna bring this and do some fun little things with it. I just think it'll be fun little memories too. I just want Trent to film and take pictures as, as much as possible because it's something I want to remember, especially because of COVID right now, like nobody can come in and I've always wanted to have a photographer come in and capture it or a videographer, honestly, um, to capture that. But since we can't have that, Trent's kind of my only person. So Trent is gonna have to capture everything for me. He'll be good. Next I have uh, Passy Clips and a couple different, two different kinds of pacifiers. So I've heard mixed things about bringing these to the hospital, but I'm going to, so. And then headphones, obviously, because I'm gonna probably wanna just get in the zone with things. And then also our portable Bluetooth speaker and the charger for this, I gotta grab as well. Um, so we'll have these to just kind of relax and listen to music. And I did make a playlist on my Spotify account. So it's a, my labor playlist. So they're just songs that either inspire me or make me feel empowered or just feel calm um, or just nostalgic songs. Um, so I made a fun playlist for myself for that. And then also little battery candles here, just to kind of like set the mood. I love candles and it just will help, I think, make me feel more relaxed and at ease. So these are just little battery candles. And then we've got nipple cream, nipple butter. This is a must I've heard. I thought that the hospital would provide it, but um, people are telling me to bring my own. So I'm just gonna bring it, it doesn't hurt, it's small. Some things also, like little things that I have in this bag. This rock I always have with me in my camera backpack and I just, it fits in my palm of my hand and I just like to hold it. It makes me feel just a little more at ease. And then also Trent's mom gave us these little gems to have as a little pocket of peace. And that's just really comforting. And then also some lavender roll-ons, some chapstick, some lip exfoliator, some earplugs because I like to have those and try my needs them and a scrunchie. Those are just some little things I have in there. Next, I'm bringing my bobby pillow. Um, I don't wanna bring a full pillow cause I just think it's too big in the suitcases and stuff. I'm just gonna bring this cause I think it could be used for multiple things and I'm just gonna bring this one instead. 
And then also I have a really special blanket that my mom made me. It's She's called Pink Blanky, Pink Blanket. I've had her since I was a kid or like my mom makes me pink blankies and I use it like on top of my pillow as just like an extra soft thing that I put on top of pillow. So this is like the most comforting thing to me. So I have to have this because this is gonna make me feel really comfortable and at ease. Obviously pink blankie has to come with. Trent hates that I have a pink blankie, but she's coming whether he likes it or not. I'm bringing a couple swaddles um, just in case. I'm thinking more so for like pictures if I wanted to take a picture of her in one of the swaddles just in case she doesn't either like fit into a couple of the outfits that I'm bringing because I'm only bringing three outfits and who knows maybe she'll spit up on it maybe she won't fit in them um, so I think I'm just gonna bring swaddles to have and then all my outfits and clothes are laid out on the floor and I feel like it'd be hard to hold up so I'm just gonna show you what I have on the floor and show you what I'm bringing there first off these are the outfits that I'm bringing for her this is a tie knot onesie thing <laughs> I don't know what they're called but so she should fit in that because it just ties at the bottom at however long she is this is a cute little outfit um, actually my mom and it comes with a hat so that's really cute and my mom got and a swaddle so a swaddle the tie knot onesie and then the hat and my mom actually got us that outfit so I got her that outfit so I think that's really cute and really special. My mom also got the nice to meet you onesie, which is cute. And these pants are cute. And then little knit booties with a little headband. And then this is just more neutral, a neutral outfit. Um, she might fit into it, she might not, I'm not sure. So that's what I'm bringing for outfits. And then I have extra socks, extra hats, a couple extra hats, and I'll probably bring one extra pair of warm socks for her too. And then I'm also bringing this snowsuit to bring her home. So it's like snowsuit winter jacket for newborns. And then it also has this so it can hook into the car seat and the car, which will be super helpful. And then for me, I'm bringing a breastfeeding shirt, a robe. This robe is a must. A nursing tank top and a couple nursing bras just in case some get spit up on them or anything happens. Then also some fuzzy slippers that my mom got me. My mom also got me these little socks, which are really cute. And they say, they say baby, you're worth it, which are really cute. And then a couple other pairs of fuzzy socks. I love fuzzy socks. And then some Spanx, just cause they just seem like they'd be comfortable. So yeah, this is what I have for outfits and all that. Also have an extra long phone charger. I've heard this is a lifesaver and I can see why. And then also little mittens because we're having a winter baby to keep her warm on the way home in her little jacket even though her little jacket's got little hand things and i'll bring my laptop and charger just to stay entertained and have stuff to do and then also because i said that i want trent to take a lot of pictures and footage and all that stuff i'm bringing and i just want to take pictures too so i'm bringing my other camera i'm bringing my vlog camera that i'm filming on and our road mic and batteries memory cards chargers, all that good stuff to take a lot of pictures and videos with, which will be fun. Because like I said, we can't have anybody else in there doing it for us, so we'll have to do it ourselves. All that, Trent will have to do a lot of it. <laughs> a lot of people had really good suggestions with what I should pack in. I asked on my Instagram stories and in TikTok. So I'm just gonna read a few of these. People said extra long phone charger. Um, this was good, something to do for you and Trent to stay entertained. So a deck of cards or a game or a book. Or anything like that so I grabbed uh, my handheld Yahtzee game and a deck of cards <laughs> so just if we are bored we'll have at least something to do that way otherwise everything else that I've seen on Instagram here I have your own blanket and pillow chapstick and snacks loose fitting pants nursing bras this person says noise machine 100% so I do have an app on my phone or Trent has an app on his phone we use our white noise fan app that we use every night to go to sleep anyway, so we can just use that if we need to. A lot of cute outfits to take pictures in, nipple cream. Oh, and then also, I'm not doing this, but she says, I heard shower slippers are a must unless you don't mind hospital bathroom floors. I don't know. I feel like I'll just rough it like my college days for a couple days, a couple showers, I'll be fine. But I have heard that. Some people have said that, so if that's something that is weird to you, then I would definitely bring those. Oh, one thing I don't have either that I saw that I probably should get, and I don't know if the hospital supplies it or not, it's um, an upside down Perry bottle from Frida. I feel like I probably will want that. <laughs> 
or should have it. So I might look into ordering that. Otherwise, there was a lot of really good suggestions of things. I feel like looking at everything, I, from what people have said, I have everything that I think I need or can get away with anyways. So yeah, that's what I'm packing in our hospital bag and then Trent's gonna pack his own stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you guys packed for your hospital bags and if I have enough, not enough, whatever you had. And I can't believe it's coming so soon and really could happen at any time. So it feels really good to be prepared. And yeah, thanks for watching.